One of the most deadliest weapons that infantry could wield. Imagine an assault on a criminal outpost where they wait for you with all sorts of different guns and weapons. Yes, the urban warfare is a rather difficult one, because it would take one blood, sweat and tears to make the room clean. But when you have this gizmo over here, which was called Shaitan Truba in Afghanistan, rules might change. This is the main portable flamethrower, which we simply call the Bumblebee. So, how it works. In the frontal part of this grenade, the special fine aerosol or fuel container is located. The first charge burst opens this container and the cloud of fuel flows around objects and into structures. The second charge then detonates the cloud and creates the massive blast wave that is equivalent to 5.5 kilos of TNT and comparable to a 155mm artillery shell. But the main damaging agents are extreme temperature and pressure. In other words, this is a perfect and one of the most deadliest weapons that infantry could wield. We came to an abandoned building at a military training ground. As you can see, it is fortified in a movie fashion. You can see sandbags, uh, perhaps landmine approaches. But, as you might imagine, I'm not really scared of mines, I... Curses, like chickens, always come home to roost. Just well, like in our case. Well, I am not a Gordon Ramsay, but I can pull a trick of my own, of course. I want my chickens well done, but we shall see. Look over here, the first part of a chicken just near the entrance, the main piece is in the middle of the room, one bite in this little room, and some chicken is in the basement. Well, will it survive if the bumblebee is working here? Maybe we'll taste some fried GoPro camera that I will place in the distant corner of this room. I'm not so sure it will make it to the end, but... Sacrifices are to be made, and if it will survive, we will capture, or we might capture, every tiny detail of this Hell's Kitchen that is about to happen. Because today we've got our Shaitan Truba. Let's go! I've seasoned my chicken thoroughly. Well, let us see the outcome. So, take a look. I hit this wall, but well, it is not demolished or something, just like you see some brick scratches and here and there. But this is where the main blast happens. This is where the fuel tank busted open. And well, it feels like every piece of this room was up in the air and mixed for some time. You know? We had a part of a drumstick somewhere here. Where is it? Oh, over here. I see it. I did not eat this kind of chicken seasoned with dust, mud and ashes in addition. I would not say it is burnt to the bone, but well... Look at all these sandbags on the walls. Can you see them? 
They were sitting on these windows, whole and pretty well, and now they are all like blasted off them. So, let us look at other pieces, and the main course in particular. I've seasoned it with paprika thoroughly, but it doesn't look appetizing to me at all. It is bruised, it is burned a bit, and, well, even some feathers are fine. And it doesn't look as scary as I imagined in the first place. Well, what about basement? Well, here it looks a lot more well done than in other locations. Ten meters away from the blast, but in the basement. And this means that this thermobaric blast doesn't care much whether if you hide or not. It will reach you no matter what. Perhaps I might be mistaken, of course, but from my perspective, this piece looks a lot more burned and bruised than the others. Although it might be covered with a hell lot of dust, just like, well, a dust breading, as you might call it. Take a look, everything around is blasted off, some sandbags remain on those windows, they are froze, they are cracked. But well, take a look at our camera. You've probably already watched the piece it recorded, means it is pretty much whole and alive. And well, it is coolest for me. And here you can see the fence of this grenade. It does look very much like a conventional RPG. Their goal is to stabilize the flight of this grenade. You have to remember this is a reactive grenade. And we can see a part of grenade here as well, and it's pretty hard to touch. Oh, am I allowed to touch it? Let us examine our remaining pieces. Hey, come here, over here. Smoked a bit, but well, still not nearly as well done as I wanted. Something between medium rare and rare. Hell, feeling myself like a golden Ramsey, but well, Hell's Kitchen is the rightful name for the Shaitan tube or bumblebee. You'll understand it when you look at the mess it created. By the way, Shaitan Truba is a Hell's tube in English. Look at this room. It's completely blown off. These sandbags, everything, these walls. By the way, some strange substance like liquid fills everything, the ceiling, the walls, the floor. We had some sandbags in here, look at them, now turned into rags and dirt. The pressure pushed this sandbag outside and this what remains of it. This sort of rag. The RPOA or bumblebee isn't the best thing to cook your food with, I think you're better off using conventional cooking equipment. But this weapon is by far one of the most deadliest weapon an infantry could carry. This reactive flamethrower demolishes everything on its path. And this was your high-caliber mayhem. Stay in touch with us. Bye-bye.